Welcome to You Can Do It. So today we're going to look at testing the pressure or testing the safety of a compressor tank. Um, this is part of a series where I rebuild the, um, the compressor but today is just purely about doing a, a pressure test on a tank because you just want to make sure it's not going to split on you and explode. So we're going to do a hydro test so it's going to be with water. Very simple, I've taken the I had to take the motor, the, uh, the electric motor off just to get to this port here. So I'm going to fill this up with water here until it starts coming out of here. And then I'm going to cap that and then we're going to pressurise that. In order to fill it up, I've got myself a little spout. I want to start filling, up, filling that up with water again until it comes out here. Now you've got to make sure that your drain valve underneath is, is closed off and tight. Okay. Now you must test these if you don't know the history of the tank and you... Just got it. I've just got picked this up second hand, so I've got no idea whether it's safe or not. You do not want a tank exploding on you. So then, once I fill this up with water, we'll then connect it up to a, a hand pump and we'll pressurise this up. So stick with me. Water's now coming out of there, so I can, I've got a cap which I'm going to put in there and seal that up. And then uh, we can then put a little bit more water here until we get to the top of there. And then we'll, we'll connect up to our... Um, manual pump. If you're going to pressure test your, your tank with a hydro um, with a hydro pressure test just pick up one of these off of uh, off of Amazon or something else. They're only like 30, 30 euros or 35 euros and do it because if you the way I look at it is look I don't actually need this for anything else at the moment but it's an insurance policy so for 35 euros I will know whether or not that's a safe tank or not and it's going to explode on me and I'd I'd happily pay 35 euros if I'm lying in hospital because that's blown up on me and cut me up badly. Someone says, look, there's 35 euros to test that as an insurance policy so you didn't have that problem. I would take it. So this has arrived from uh, off the internet and we're going to connect that up. So it's, it's just a simple, you've got a pressure gauge there, you've got a pump and you've got a, this, this tank fills up with water and then we connect that into the connect that into the tank and that'll that's exactly the same thread as you've got two different size threads on this and you get this adapter with it so that can screw in there so this adapter here will screw in into here that'll screw into there nicely and then yeah it's on a tapered thread so so it seals so that'll tape all that that and then we can connect that connect that up to it okay so let's let me go and find a plug and I will be back so I've used my, my spanner, I've put that in there and tightened that up nice and tight. Now to use this, what we do is we, we fill this up with water. Just a simple pump really. Well, it's not going to need much water because the tank's already full. So if I put that end in there, this is a little valve. And then I keep pumping, look. There we are. Now I can connect that pipe. Up to that. Make sure you've got your little uh, ceiling washer in the end of it. Okay, look, I've got the plug there. So I'll put my plug in there and I'll tighten that up and then we're ready to start pressurising this thing. Get my spanner. Tighten this up. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? There we are. Right. That's all done. Now that tank <coughs> is uh, is rated at 10, 10 bar, so I'm going to go up to... The plate on here says uh, 11 bar. So I'm going to go up to, say, 50% plus of that. So no, that's about 18, 20, uh, 18, 20 bar. So what we do... There we are. Right, let me start pumping, look. Twenty bar, that's ten. Ah, right, first thing look. It's leaking out the bottom. It's just leaking out of the, the valve there. Okay, so I need to tighten that up. So let me go get a span a uh, spare pliers and I'll tighten that up. Okay, we've done that. I've tightened that up now, so we'll carry on. Have a look. So we're up at 20 bar now. So that's plenty. We'll just go up a little bit more. 
Hey, I look, 22 bar. So we'll leave it like that. Or 300, 300 psi. Or 350 psi, there you are. That thing's. So look, we'll leave it like that and see what happens. But it hasn't split and it hasn't blown. The thing is, if with water, if that splits, it'll just, there'll be just a little splash of water come out and that's it because water doesn't compress. But if that was air and it goes, it's, it's a whole different kettle of fish and you end up with a bloody explosion as the air rushes out. So um, this is looking like this is good at the moment. So really pleased about that. So that's just goes to show how with a with a cheap like £30 hydro test kit you can test your, your compressor to really make sure that it's safe. So if you've got a compressor that you don't know the history of, you don't know how rusty it is, then this thing can um, this test will prevent you from having a, a compressor that could potentially blow up. So because obviously this has had uh, water in the bottom of it, could have rusted it. And if it goes, it'll go along the bottom where, it's, where the water's been sitting. So obviously what you do, every time you've used it, or at least once a week, you just undo that drain at the bottom, drain the water out, and then you know she's dry. So I hope this has helped you. Really quick and easy way to uh, hydrostatic pressure test your compressor. Make sure it's safe, then you know it's safe. You're not worried about it. Um, and there's no chance that it's going to blow up on you. I mean, this is sitting at 350 psi, so she's good at the moment. Back again. Look, that's been a good five or ten minutes. Well, in fact, more. I've been on the phone for 15 minutes. Look, and that's still at 350 psi. So that tank, I now know, is safe. I mean, it's definitely <laughs> safe to like 10 or 8 bar when it's up at like 20, 24 at the moment, 24 bar. So she's safe to go. So I'm quite pleased about that. And it's worth it for the security, so you know it's safe. If that's under a table or something like that, underneath your workbench, then you know it's safe, it's not going to blow up. So, what we do now, is we undo our valve. There they are. There they are, that's what it's down to zero. And, um, I'll undo those fittings and then I'll drain all the drain all the water out of it but that is how you pressure test your compressor tank